Earlier this week, AMC issued a special stock dividend to its shareholders and gave every AMC stock owner shares of newly created AMC Preferred Equity Units. These AMC Preferred Equity Units are now trading under the ticker symbol APE on the stock market, which is a tongue-in-cheek nod to the Reddit Wall Street Bets crowd that has been supporting AMC stock over the past year and who collectively refer to themselves as apes. For every one share of AMC stock that was owned at the time of the dividend, shareholders were given one share of AMC's APE units. These APE shares are designed to carry identical value and voting rights as AMC's regular stock. Because there isn't a value difference between owning a share of AMC stock or APE stock, the creation of these AMC preferred shares effectively has split AMC's stock market value between AMC stock and APE stock shares. This is almost like a two-for-one stock split, except AMC is now trading under two different ticker symbols, unlike with a regular traditional stock split. Stock splits fundamentally do not change anything about a company or its market cap value, and this special dividend is functioning in much the same way, so you might be wondering why AMC would split the company value with these newly created APE shares in the first place, since it's not changing anything about the company. The simple truth is that these APE shares provide a way for AMC to raise money that they wouldn't be able to do otherwise. AMC sold tons of its stock in 2021 after its share price skyrocketed off of a short squeeze and it became a meme stock. AMC has over $5 billion in debt currently and hasn't had a profitable quarter since 2019. So when the opportunity came to issue and sell new shares to investors during the meme stock rally, AMC used the opportunity to sell new shares to raise cash so it could keep the business running and cover its expenses. AMC actually sold as much stock during this time period as they were authorized to by shareholders. To put into context how much shares were issued and sold, AMC had roughly 104 million shares of outstanding stock in June of 2020, and now it has about 516 million shares of outstanding stock. This means that roughly 80% of all AMC shares were issued in just the last two years. After selling all of the shares they were authorized to in order to raise cash for the business, AMC went to shareholders and asked for permission to create even more shares to sell and continue to raise cash. But this proposal was rejected by shareholders who did not want more stock dilution. So this prevented AMC from raising cash and diluting shareholders more for a little while. The way that dilution works is that when a company creates and sells new shares of its stock, existing shareholders in the company own proportionally less of the company than they did before the share count increased. Hypothetically, if someone owned 100,000 shares in a company that had only 1 million shares total, they would own 10% of the company. But if the company then sells 9 million more shares of their stock and increases the share count to 10 million, that same investor would now own only 1% of the company due to dilution. This is why dilution is bad for investors as new shares being created lowers the amount of the company they own proportionally. So investors voted to block AMC from issuing new shares of AMC stock to prevent more dilution of their investment. But all the way back in 2013, AMC's investors had authorized the company to issue preferred stock shares. AMC didn't end up issuing preferred stock shares back then, but this authorization they were given by shareholders to create preferred stock remains something that the company had permission to do. This authorization from 2013 is why AMC was able to create these new APE preferred equity units. The initial dividend of AMC preferred equity units for existing AMC stock owners created approximately 517 million APE shares. Since these initial shares are only going to existing shareholders, there will be no dilution at the moment for existing shareholders since they will all have the same amount of ownership in the company proportionally as they did before. But the catch is that AMC has authorization from the 2013 vote 
to issue and offer nearly another 4.5 billion APE units. The company said in its 8K SEC filing that, quote, the AMC board currently has only authorized the equivalent of 1 billion of these AMC preferred equity units that can be issued now. 516,820,595 of these 1 billion AMC preferred equity units are being issued this month to shareholders as a dividend. The AMC board currently has no plan or intention in calendar years 2022 or 2023 to authorize more than this initial 1 billion amount of apes. However, AMC's board of directors may authorize additional AMC preferred equity units at any time in the future at its sole discretion, including in 2022 or 2023, if it deems such an issuance to be in AMC's best interests. End quote. This effectively means AMC can in the future sell ape stock on the market to raise money for the company at its sole discretion, which would dilute shareholders against their wishes. It's effectively a clever financial way for the company to work around AMC shareholders voting against the company being able to issue and sell new shares in the original stock. The fact that there are only around 517 million ape shares being issued to start but that there can be around 4.5 billion more shares sold means that existing AMC shares could experience severe dilution if the company sells anywhere close to the amount of preferred shares it's authorized to. The extra cash from issuing shares will be good for AMC, as it will help the company to pay down its massive debts and work to invest in improving its operations. But this will come at the expense of severe dilution for shareholders, which is why Ape stock isn't really a great thing for AMC's share price in the near term. Since Ape stock shares have identical fundamental value and rights as normal AMC shares, issuing new Ape shares will dilute both Ape and AMC stock. If AMC is able to use new funds from selling Ape shares to improve the business and become profitable again, it may be worth it in the long run for investors. But in the near term, any dilution will likely put pressure on the stock price while the company attempts to turn around the business. This could also potentially make any future short squeezes smaller, because if the company uses a short squeeze to sell new shares in APE, this effectively gives investors that are short the stock an easier way to cover their short by buying the new shares that the company is selling on the market. So this potential dilution is a significant weight on AMC's share price in general. And while the cash will help AMC pay its bills and survive, there's really no guarantee that AMC will be able to stop its cash burn and become profitable again, as it has been generating consistent losses for a while now, with unprofitable quarters even before lockdown started in 2020. If the company remains structurally unprofitable, AMC will eventually begin to fail if it runs out of ways to raise money to fund its operations and pay down its debts. This makes AMC a very risky stock from a fundamental perspective, and for that reason it's really not a safe investment, because the company is struggling just to keep the business alive. It's really best for investors to leave this stock for traders and speculators for this reason, as the long-term future of the company is at risk due to its struggling business. But be sure to let me know your thoughts on AMC stock and its ape shares in the comments below. And if this video is helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more investing and finance content, and leave a like on the video. Thanks.